Imagine for a moment that God placed a unique mark on your life, an unmistakable sign that you belong to him, ensuring no harm can come to you. What might that mark look like? Would it be something visible, or perhaps only you and God could recognize it? As a child of God, you are marked, chosen, set apart, and called to a greater purpose. There are specific signs that reveal this divine mark upon your life. Before we continue, if it's your first time on this channel, please subscribe. Follow this video through to the end to understand how and why you are marked by God. The idea that God marks us may seem hard to grasp, but it serves as a reminder of His grace and love for His children. It's evidence that God has not forgotten you, even when circumstances make you feel otherwise. Psalm 139.4 says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Have you ever considered why God created everything before creating man on the sixth day? He prepared everything in advance, ensuring the garden was suitable for man to inhabit. This demonstrates God's deep love for humanity, which is why he created you in his own image and likeness, distinct from all other creatures. Sadly, humanity's fall disrupted God's original plan. Even after the restoration, not everyone returned to him. As a result, those who do carry a mark that distinguishes God's chosen from the rest of the world. Just as certain things distinguish one nation from another in the secular world, there are signs that show whether you're marked by God. To verify this mark, here are the signs you should look out for. Have you ever imagined what it would be like if God wrapped you in a protective blanket, keeping you safe from harm? It's akin to having a personal guardian angel watching over you. The Bible says that God's name is a strong tower the righteous run into it and are safe. When you experience God's divine protection and preservation, it's a clear indication that you are marked by Him. Psalm 91.3 promises, Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence when God vows to protect you from danger. It's a clear sign of His divine mark. And it's not just limited to physical safety, God's protection extends to spiritual, emotional and mental well-being too. He says the sun won't strike you by day, nor the moon by night. With God's mark on you, you become the apple of his eye, meaning nothing can harm you without passing through him first. The psalmist expressed confidence that, even in the valley of the shadow of death, no evil would come to him. Why? Because God's mark was on him. If God said not to touch his anointed or harm his prophets, what does that tell you? Divine protection and preservation, of course. David, for example, enjoyed this protection throughout his life. As a shepherd, God protected him from wild animals. On the battlefield, God shielded him from Goliath. And later, God preserved him from King Saul's wrath. These are all examples of God's protection over those he sets apart. Another example is Daniel. Despite being in captivity in a foreign land, Daniel was protected because of God's mark. Every plot against him failed, even when he was thrown into the lion's den. The hungry lions could see him but could not harm him. That's what happens when you're marked by God. Supernatural provision is like God dropping blessings into your hands just when you need them most. When you bear God's mark, you enjoy supernatural provision in miraculous ways. God knows your needs before you even ask. He's a God of abundance, so why would he withhold anything from you? Think of the birds in the sky and the fish in the sea. They don't plant or gather, yet God ensures they have food. How much more precious are you, who is made in God's image? Being marked by God signifies just how valuable you are to him. When you carry his mark, you can trust him to provide for you in unimaginable ways, whether it's spiritual, physical or material. Psalm 37.25 says, I was young, and now I am old, yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging bread. Can you imagine the child of a wealthy parent begging for food from their neighbors? Impossible. The Bible reassures us that God provides for our needs according to his riches in glory. He sustains us, just as he did the Israelites in the wilderness when he provided manna from heaven and water from a rock. Divine recognition and favor are like receiving special treatment directly from God. When you're marked by Him, it's as though you carry a seal that sets you apart for unique blessings. Imagine walking through life knowing God's eyes are always on you, guiding and protecting you. 
Do you recall the feeling of safety and warmth when running into your parents' arms after a scary situation? God's peace and comfort surpass even that feeling. It's another sign of being marked by God. He grants you a peace that shields you from anxiety and fear, allowing you to rest in Him. When you carry God's mark, peace and joy are constants in your life. No matter the storms you feel secure knowing God is in control. You begin to rely on Him more, trusting His provision and guidance. When God's mark is upon you, your life reflects victory, not just in success but also in overcoming obstacles. Romans 8.37 reminds us that we are more than conquerors through Christ, who loves us. Your victories become a testament to God's power and grace in your life. Another sure sign of being marked by God is how His love overflows from you to others. When marked by Him, His nature is evident in your relationships. You are empowered to love, forgive and show compassion freely, living in peace with everyone. A centered relationship is grounded in a deep commitment to truth and integrity. Jesus consistently spoke the truth, even when it was tough. In your relationships, you are also called to be honest and trustworthy, upholding the truth in love. This kind of integrity builds trust, fostering deeper and more meaningful connections. When you are marked by God, your relationships begin to reflect His love and grace. You become a vessel through which His love flows, transforming lives and drawing others closer to Him. This is the essence of living a life marked by God being a beacon of His love in a world in desperate need of it. Boldness and confidence are clear signs of the Holy Spirit's presence in your life, and the Spirit can only reside within you if you are marked by God. The Holy Spirit first manifested Himself on the day of Pentecost, resting upon the disciples and giving them the boldness to begin their ministry. When the Holy Spirit is within you, you too will reflect this boldness. When marked by God, you have confidence in knowing He is always with you. This confidence is not boastful or arrogant, but a quiet, humble strength that comes from understanding that God is your shield and source. You're not afraid to step out in faith or take risks. Why? Because you know that God is working through you to bring glory to His name. Being marked by God, this boldness and confidence aren't fleeting feelings, they become your lifestyle a constant reminder that you are His child, chosen and destined for greatness. With this assurance, you can confidently step out in faith, knowing that God is for you and with you, every step of the way. Realizing that you carry a divine mark is something you must embrace. Why? It reminds you of your unique identity as a child of God, chosen and set apart for a special purpose. This divine mark distinguishes you from the world, empowering you to live a life that reflects God's love, grace and truth. While you enjoy the benefits of carrying this mark, always remember to thank God. As 1 Peter 2.9 says, You are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession called to proclaim the praises of the one who called you out of darkness and into his wonderful light. Do you have any regrets about leaving the darkness behind? Always thank God for the mark he's placed upon your life for good. Remember, God also marked Cain after he took his brother's life, but that mark was a punishment, causing him to wander the earth. Imagine if God's mark on you were a punishment, how terrible that would be. But his mark on you serves a good purpose for your benefit and the glory of his name. Remember, this mark isn't permanent. Its duration depends on you. It's like a contract breach the terms and you lose the benefits. God never intended for man to face hardship, but man's disobedience removed the protective shield. Your goal should be to remain marked by God in all you do. Live a life that reflects His character and brings glory to His name. To do this, continually seek His presence and guidance. Pray and meditate on His word regularly, surround yourself with fellow believers, and maintain a heart full of gratitude and humility, always acknowledging that every blessing and victory comes from Him. Living a life marked by God means stepping out of your comfort zone and sharing your faith with others. It's about being a light in a dark world, speaking the truth in love, and standing firm in your beliefs, even when it's difficult or unpopular. This boldness isn't confrontational, it's about standing steadfast and unshakable in your faith. Integrity and moral uprightness are vital parts of this lifestyle. 
Your words and actions should always reflect Christ's nature. People should see God's character in your behavior through your honesty, kindness, patience, and love. This consistency is a testament to the mark you carry. Moreover, staying marked by God requires cultivating a deep personal relationship with Him. This relationship grows through regular prayer, worship, and study of His Word. It involves listening to His voice and obeying His guidance. When you live in close communion with God, His mark on you becomes evident to all. Embrace the responsibilities that come with being marked by God. It's both a privilege and a duty. You are called to represent Him on earth, serving as His ambassador. This means living a life that draws others to Him, exemplifying His love, grace and truth. Remember, the Holy Spirit is your helper, empowering you to live out this calling with boldness and confidence. He strengthens you in your weaknesses and guides you when you're unsure. Rely on Him to lead you in every aspect of your life. Ultimately, being marked by God means living a life of purpose and impact. It means being a source of hope, encouragement, and love to those around you. As you continue walking in this divine mark, know that you are fulfilling God's plan for your life and bringing glory to His name. Holiness is a lifestyle the Bible says that righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach. To retain God's mark on your life, live in holiness. You know that God despises sin and has called you to be separate from it. Embracing holiness is about aligning your thoughts, words and actions with God's word, and it brings you closer to Him. Humility is your watchword. Humility is central to Christianity, yet many struggle with it. It doesn't mean timidity, but putting aside pride and arrogance. The Bible says God gives grace to the humble but resists the proud. Stay humble as Jesus did, and you will resist the devil's schemes. Relying on God, trust in God with all your heart, and don't lean on your own understanding. Reliance on God means fully surrendering to His will and allowing Him to lead your life. When you do this, you'll witness His miraculous power at work in your life. Let's pray, dear Heavenly Father, thank you for being the bright and morning star in my life. I'm grateful for your Lordship and the gift of this day. Thank you for shielding me from the enemy's plans and marking me as your own. Please forgive me for my sins and allow your mercy to overshadow any judgment. Cleanse me and make me yours once again. I lift your name forever and ask for your guidance. Let every word and action reflect your love and grace. May your presence be evident in all areas of my life, and may I walk confidently in the assurance that I am set apart by you. Thank you, Lord, for marking me as your beloved child. May I always honor and glorify your name in all I do. In Jesus' name, amen.